Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and finally iOS 16 is here. This is an amazing update with a bunch of new features and changes. But of course, as with every other update, when you update your iPhone to a major release like this, there are things that you need to do on your device once you have the update installed. So in this video, I will show you guys 16 things that you need to do once you have iOS 16 on your device. All right, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are currently watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So please, if you appreciate the work and you enjoy the videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That really, really helps out a lot. And we're starting with the first thing, and that's the lock screen. We have a brand new lock screen on iOS 16, and you have, of course, to configure it. Now that this one right here is the one that you will get by default on iOS 16. You can just go ahead and on the lock screen, of course, a 3D touch here. And from here, tap on customize and there you can change things on the lock screen, like maybe change here the font and change the color of the font as well if you want to do that. And of course, you can also add other lock screens like just tap right there, tap the plus button and you will be able to actually create new lock screen with your own photos or select from the wallpapers that Apple has added like the astronomy wallpapers, emoji wallpapers or the other wallpapers that Apple has on their collection. The second thing, which is of course one of the biggest features of iOS 16, is the lock screen widgets. Now you tap on customize on any of your lock screens and from here you can add the widgets. Now this will actually remove the depth effect on the wallpaper, that's kind of bad, but you still get to have the new widgets here. And of course you will find widgets which are from the stock apps that we have on iOS. I have a few here from third party apps, but they are still on beta. Probably in the next few days, we will have a bunch of apps that will support lock screen widgets. But for now, you can add the ones from Apple. So you just tap on one of the apps, select here any widget you want to add, just tap it, and there you have it. It will be added to the lock screen of your iPhone. Another thing you can do here is connect a focus mode to one of your lock screens. So if you want to have a certain lock screen, when using certain focus mode, you can actually go ahead and tap on focus right there and choose which focus you want to link to which lock screen. Now keep in mind that enabling or disabling the focus mode will enable or disable that lock screen. The same goes other way around. If you enable a lock screen, like I enable this one, I have the focus connected to it, it will automatically just enable that focus mode. Or when I disable the wallpaper, it will also disable the focus mode. Next, we're moving to the home screen. Now here we have something really cool. Finally, the battery percentage on the home screen. To enable that, you will need to go to your settings, go to battery here, and they will have battery percentage. This is not enabled. You can go ahead and enable it, of course, once you have iOS 16 installed on your device. And then we have here the search on the home screen. So you basically get tap there and it will take you to the spotlight search. Now you can configure this by going to your settings and then go to home screen. And from here, you can enable or disable the search button on the home screen simply by enabling this button. Now it will show you the dots, of course, that indicate the home screens that you have. If you want to have the search, make sure you enable it here. Now, another thing you should do on your iOS 16 device is configure your home screen wallpaper. Finally, Apple allows us to have different effects like the blur effect on the home screen and not just have it exactly the same as the lock screen wallpaper. So for that to do, you can go ahead and go to settings, go to wallpaper, and then you will have the lock screen and you can tap customize there on the home screen. Now I can choose here a color. Now just notice that when you set up a wallpaper, it will show you these colors and these gradients that have basically the same colors as the wallpaper that you currently have on the lock screen. Or you can choose the original photo or just change to a different photo from here. Then you will have also this option to blur the home screen wallpaper, which in my opinion is a really great option as it makes the icons look much, much cleaner on the home screen. Here is a new feature on iOS 16. You can now finally create quick notes on iOS 16, not just on iPadOS. And to enable that for your control center, you can go to settings, go to control center here and make sure you have added quick note. So this is the quick note icon right here. We'll find it here. Just make sure you tap the plus button and then you will have the quick note button on the control center of your device. 
finally on iOS, you can create contacts list. You can do that now by simply going to the phone app or the contacts app. And right here under contacts, you will have your lists. So you will have all of your contacts and then of course, any list that you have created. Now I can create these as easy as this, just tap on add list right there and just enter a name, open that list and just add any contact that you want from your contacts list. The next thing you should do is configure the Siri pause time. This is where you can find this new option. You go to settings under accessibility, you will find here Siri, and then we have Siri pause time. Set how long Siri waits for you to finish what you're speaking. So basically you can choose from default to longer to longest based maybe on how fast you speak or things like that. You can choose any option you want, of course, that fits you the best. Next up, we're moving to notifications. Of course, a really important part of iOS. Always make sure that you have your notifications configured the right way. Now, what I suggest you do once you have iOS 16 installed on your device, go to your notifications and just choose here which apps you want to allow to send you notifications. And of course, place maybe some apps on the scheduled summary, apps that you don't need the notifications immediately from. Make sure you have them configured the right way. Turn off apps that you don't need notifications from because this will have a huge impact on the battery life of your iPhone and make sure you put as many apps as you, as you can on the scheduled summary. Next up, we're moving to mail. You need to customize the mail settings for notifications. Maybe you have quite a few accounts on your mail app and you don't need the same notifications from all of them. Go to your settings, go under mail here, go to notifications, scroll all the way down, you will have customized notifications. So right here, you can see I have three accounts and I have different configurations for notifications from each of these. So you go to one of them and you can choose what you want to receive, alerts and badges, or maybe just one of them, or maybe just completely turn them off. Now that iOS 16 is out and of course is a major update, you can expect smaller updates to come out really, really soon. So if you're someone that doesn't want to bother with updates, all you have to do is go to your settings, general, software update, automatic updates, and make sure that you have these enabled right here. What that will do, it will update your iPhone to the latest iOS software without you having to bother to do that manually. And if you're someone that has updated to iOS 16 beta and you no longer want that, once you have iOS 16 on your device, what you can do is go ahead and remove the beta profile, settings general, VPN and device management, and make sure you go ahead and remove the profile, of course, if you no longer want to receive betas, which will most likely be iOS 16.1 beta that should be released now any day. Next up, what I suggest you do once you have your iOS 16 installed on your device, make sure you have all of your apps updated. Most apps will now release updates to basically support iOS 16. So what you need to do is go ahead and update all of your apps from the App Store or just make sure you have enabled auto updates so that your apps will automatically be updated. As I said, nowadays, a ton of apps will be releasing updates to support iOS 16. So you always make sure you have your apps updated in order for them to work better with iOS 16. And what I suggest you do next, go ahead and check your privacy settings. Go to privacy, go to your location services, and just pick here the apps that you want to have your location. You will find here a ton of apps. Most of them probably don't need to have your location all the time. So make sure you configure these because these are really, really important. Location services, of course, will not just reveal your location, but it will also consume a ton of battery and have an impact on the performance of your device. And last but not least, now that you have a new software installed on your device, make sure you go ahead and check the settings for the camera, Bluetooth, local network, microphone, and also files and folders. Now right here you can find apps that are able to actually use any of these components on your device. Like microphone, you can see right here, all these apps have access to my microphone. Go ahead, check them and see if you find there any app that you might have mistakenly given access to your microphone, camera, or Bluetooth and make sure you go ahead and turn them off. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 16 things that I believe every iPhone user should do once they have iOS 16 installed on your device. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, subscribe for more. Don't forget to leave a like on the video as it helps out a lot and I'll see you on the next one.